We got your uh, sec. This is the Secretary of the Treasury right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Tactical <laughs> investigations. And I'll be. Uh, who do I get to be? Can I be the speechwriter? Yeah, I was like, you're like the speaker of the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be the speaker writer. of my house. <laughs> <The> speaker. <laughs> <of> my house. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Green Flannel Podcast. I'm your host, Green Spleen Flannel. Uh, this is my co-host. It's a tough one. I'm, <laughs> I'm set actually, go with there, name, Robbie. My name is I, since I'm white, I can, I can actually go with the name. Uh, uh, just uh, just Stanley Green. Stanley oh, no, Green. I was going okay. Stanley Green. I like you know, that. I can have the last name yeah, Green. Yeah. You guys can't have it. Why not? Why? The reasons why not? No. It's just reasons. Why can't we have no? The last there are no, there are no cultural or racial reasons on why it's just the, this all is the I'm way saying is. is I feel like there's a few Puerto Rican greens out there, Probably. Dominican I know greens. Bra- I, don't I know, know Brazilian that. green, <laughs> Brazilian green. That's close enough. It's crazy. Cool. It's in the flag. So. <laughs> Fucking uh, that was a crazy tangent. Yeah, Welcome to the joystick <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, we usually wear different clothing but today yeah. we we, yes. we matched it up for whatever particular reason me and jerry are happen. like very like all right fine just throw companies. my ass under the boat i mean you are know? it's red you know it's green and red actually if you take a closer look I it's would say all three it's, colors i would say it's predominantly green it, i just Bob, bobby to decided to get all of rgb involved it's exactly grid grid Fucking don't worry i hope you haven't clicked away yet there's no. lots more coming <laughs> this is a quality <laughs> episode we promise before we get into the quality of this episode, make sure to go ahead and like. Make sure to well, actually, I'll let you do that at the end. Yeah. Make see, sure to go ahead and subscribe like though. Make sure to subscribe, even if you don't fucking. Even like if you it. hate us, yeah. Hate watch. Bump the numbers and then turn off the bell, but yeah. it helps us. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. Moving on, I, I told the guys we have like actual kind of cohesive stuff that we want to talk about. That that's in the. Uh, that's in the sphere of something that's happening here later tonight. Yes. But uh, before we get into that, mm-hmm. I also want to get something out that I'm totally going to forget if I don't share it right now. Okay. And that I also told you guys has nothing to do with what I want. To yes. Talk about. Right. Yeah. So I was on Facebook earlier. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I, you know, every now and then I, I stumble across some gold on Facebook. And what okay. I mean by that is typically now my favorite, you know, meme videos I find on Instagram or even like via recycled recycled TikToks and yeah, shit like that. Usually, yeah, it's yeah. rare you find gold on Facebook, right? Uh, so I'm on Facebook mm-hmm. and I get a video that the real quick, the best way to like describe it for you guys is you know the Darman videos, yes. right? That they're very cheesily written and the way that they're filmed and everything, right? The what? The Darman, he's like that dude that makes like the the morality videos about like I found a lost wallet and then he makes like an they're 18 like skits. minute. He makes like skits, but they're all about like doing the right thing. This guy is giant, Jerry. And now I've realized we have to go into a separate tangent where we explain <laughs> we, we, we talked about Jerry. him on the show before. But I don't think uh, he was there for that. No. I think that was a that was a private you and me. Point is, right, I hate this guy. Okay. Uh, and he's so big, Jerry. He has like millions of subs. Even my students. He's are like, like worldwide. Watch? Worldwide. Yeah, probably know international. much of him. Uh, but point is, is I got linked to like a Darman esque video that was made in a European country. Oh, okay. so prop, but it's not. It wasn't like the UK. It sounded like Swedish or something like that. Okay, but allow me to to set up this just this incredible story in this video, right? So it's two people, a white man and a black man, and they're in a in restaurant Sweden. in Sweden in a restaurant or and they're whatever and uh, and they're oh no let me I have to step back it's actually two white men right a oh, yeah. younger guy and an older guy and the younger guy and the, they're talking about meeting up with somebody that the the younger guy is bringing who's like a genius it's like a business type thing okay, you know that yeah, that's yeah, the whole yeah. feel of this so the guy comes and he ends up being a black dude and the older guy mistakes him for the the waiter. Uh, and he's like, we've been waiting 10 minutes and it takes you this long to get water here, get the water. And he gives him the glass and the black guy's like, uh, uh, but the young guy just like tells him like, I'll just play it off or whatever. So he's like, okay. So the black guy like goes with the water and then the young Swedish dude goes up and they have this little conversation where they establish the important points. You know, black guy's like a tech genius who's developed an app. And the older this white is already guy, t- way too much right, than right. I thought this was gonna be. And the older white man is like the guy who's gonna sign the check yeah, yeah, and like yeah, buy this yeah. app from this guy. And that's why he's being like pompous and everything. But he realizes that the old man is like racist. Yeah. So he they pull out this whole Looney Tunes elaborate sketch like you know thing to like where prank him. They get the actual waiter. They give him money. 
and then they have the waiter sit in as the IT uh, genius, genius guy while the black guy tries to feed him stuff through like an AirPod. And then, <laughs> like at one point, the older white guy is like, "It's so disrespectful that you talk to me while you listen to music in your ear." And he's like, "Oh, okay, I'm sorry." And he takes it out, and they're like, "Oh shit, how are we gonna do it?" Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "What what language did you write the program in?" And the guy's like. English, of course, you know. <laughs> and there's like English, haha. And the black guy's behind him writing like C plus plus on a napkin, and he uh-huh. shows it, and he's like, "Oh, I used uh, C two crosses. I used C two crosses." <laughs> so you know, so it, it basically where it culminates to, right, is uh, this is great content. We gotta make sure like this. He shoes the the waiter away, the white guy, mm-hmm. and he 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 be, he gets real with the younger guy. He's like, "Stop fucking with me." Basically, he's like, "Where's this guy that we're supposed to meet?" And he's basically like he's the black man that you just you mistook for the waiter. And he goes, I see. Uh, and he even says some like fucked up shit where he's like, "There's no way he could have developed the program. Their their brains aren't aren't handled that. They can barely write. All they all it's for is like basketball statistics and hip hop lyrics, you know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because it's like really like non U S black you know racist stereotype. It's like damn, uh-huh. you really got like. Very caricature with yeah, that yeah, shit. Very specific with the shit. But uh, he he levels with the guy and he's like, "I'll tell you what, we don't even need him anymore. So let's mm-hmm. just sign him in and we'll split it fifty fifty, and you could tell him to get lost." So he's like, "All right, cool." And he's about to sign the contract, but like the pen doesn't work. And the big twist is that like the older white guy knew the whole time. And he knew that he knew that the black dude developed the program. He knew that the younger he white tried. guy was like a shitty business guy and would say whatever he wanted to do. And he like sits down and the black guy, I think his name is like Phil. And he's like, you see, Phil, I knew about your friend. I knew he wasn't going to be honest. I knew he would throw you under the bus in a racial da 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 whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it ends with him like, I'm going to buy your app and you and me are going to do business. And he's like, thank you. And they like clink the champagne or whatever. And like the whole lesson is basically supposed to be like, you know, don't be a dick apparently. But then as the video ends, I'm like, are we not going to pretend like the older guy went on that whole rant with the whole basketball, right. hip hop shit? And <laughs> then like, he's going to pull thought- like, I knew. So I was allowed to be racist for the test, you know, like. It- <laughs> so wait, the guy who stood up for him is the bad guy? Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> exactly. What he said. exactly. That makes no sense. So that's my new favorite. That guy video. is the ba- I love that. It's like Dar Man, but you actually do a fl- there's an extra flip. Exactly. It's like right wing. It's like actually you're supposed yeah, to be like a piece right of shit. <laughs> we should do that. What would I even We should fucking do what that. What would I even Google to find this shit? It would Evil be like Dar Man. You got to save it. It's going to be lost media in 5 fucking years, bro. Bro, it'd be like I guess uh black IT genius. <laughs> Gets here's mistaken the mistaken for a waiter. Because here's the thing. We can make like dark. Yep. <laughs> yep. But dramatize me. That's the people. I just wanted to get the name out. I came out of Dago, so that's <laughs> why. Gums? Then they got 2.14 million subs. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. It's big. I wonder if they show the country. Oh, this was literally like the other day. Yeah. But this is it. Fucking. Have you ever been mistaken for anyone else? There's no room for racism in the world. Treat diversity respect. And that's the thing. The people who watch these are like very, uh, how do I put, they're sheeple. Straight yeah. Up, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking, nah, but I wanted to see. With it. Anyway. Follow the rules. God, God that's a rule. <laughs> I just really that wanted, exists. I wanted to share the beauty of this, of this video that I saw. And I just wanted to see Life if they had like a uh, country that they're from. Apparently not, but. Whatever. I'll you tell stories later. that I'm only, I'm matter. Only, you can tell by the design this shit ain't American. Yeah. Look at the design of this oh, shit, yeah. bro. And this is Darman, uh, Jerry. How many subs does Darman have? 18 million? Damn, I thought he had more, but still, that's good. He's looking familiar. Five actually. new that's videos weird. a week, Jesus. And they're all this. Sheesh. They're all this. Me and Jose are going to have to watch one of these later. <laughs> that, 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 that teacher that gave that last yeah, dollar the help. E- exactly. Because me and Jose are teachers. Oh, fucking. <laughs> anyway, that was my two cents about dramatize me. Now that I can properly. That was amazing. I have to go watch these now. Yeah, yeah, me too. Dramatize. I want to oh, like, go on a, uh, a binge. Any anybody else want to say stuff? I have a, a little bit of a tangent. Okay. Uh, there is a new enemy of the podcast. Oh wow. <clears throat> yeah. So I was uh, watching the Nuggets Timberwolves last night and decided to bet on the game. Ooh, ooh. Uh. So shout outs to Carl Anthony Towns for being the worst person in the history of the planet. Uh, 
I had two separate bets, one of which was, was I was small bet, but it was like crazy odds. It was like I picked the Mets to win, yeah. the Islanders to win, and then a bunch of shit in that game. Mm-hmm. Bunch of different things. I picked Bruce Brown to pop off. He kind of did. I miss Bruce Brown. I miss Bruce Brown yeah, too he's a lot. such a good player. But I picked Car Anthony Towns to get eight rebounds. You know how many rebounds he got. Mm-hmm. He got seven rebounds. Yeah. He got seven rebounds. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not gonna sweat it. He has not gotten seven rebounds in uh, over a month. Yeah. So. So is Carl Anthony Towns the new enemy of the podcast? Yes. Mm-hmm. His his initial his name is nicknamed Cat because he's a pussy. Gotcha. That's how he plays. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I didn't know that's so why. Yeah. Bad. We we are now going to make a sports podcast just so I can hate on Carl, Carl Anthony, Anthony Towns, Towns. Yeah. and that is it. Have you seen the 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 meme about like his voice? Yeah. That, like nobody knows what Anthony, Carl Anthony Towns' <laughs> voice is actually like because like he did a he does like the post game interview. And he's like, I told you, man, it was going to be crazy. <laughs> and then he goes on a podcast and he's like, I told them over there, <laughs> like, we were going to come back. And we were, I shit you not. It's the uh, why you sound like SpongeBob, like, like no, a real person. He sounds like, <laughs> bro. He's like, he's on different energy when he's on the floor. Bro, I got to find this now. Bro, I, I, actually, I do want to see this if Bobby's on the point. But yeah, this guy sucks now. Uh, I do not like him. I, I set up the best bet. Do you see? Like, he gets caught changing the pitch of his voice. I think I've seen this. It's crazy because after all that. Oh my god! <laughs> That's too much. I was like, alright. You see, like, that's his voice. And then the post game interview is like. <laughs> he sounds like LeBron. Go get him. We go get out there. It's so funny to me, man. I think so. Well, I'm down to hate on Carl Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So that's actually, I think that's what happens. He 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 turns into like another oh, a person. different person, and that person sucks at basketball. Maybe Carl Anthony Towns sold like his soul in some like weird supernatural thing, you know? So he's just like allowed to be himself until he plays basketball, and then like a demon inside of him play. And when he even talks, and he's like, "Yeah, I fucking." I fucking got seven rebounds. <laughs> I got ten <laughs> points. And then as he walks into the locker room, he's like, "That was a great game. It was, like, it was fucking awesome. It was awesome." Like he made, he made. That's a jump. That's a yeah, really yeah. big yeah, jump. Word. It's not, not a little ball. one. That's why I brought it up. I was like, it's a pretty stark difference between yeah. his fucking. Nah, he'd be good at jumping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe not. not yeah, rebound. <laughs> um, I'll bet on the game tomorrow, and I won't pick that. Yeah, but I'll. Yeah. Is, is that? Is that's that... all I had. Just fuck Anthony Carl. Now we get into the cohesiveness. Yes. The, the, the merging of big sporting event happening tonight sporting Ooh, event that i have been yeah. excited for golf for shut up for years bowling even though it only was uh made official like uh, a year ago but it's it's a fight that has been what's 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 the Brewing? term a fight that's been being looked forward to for years <laughs> very you much about? you guys don't even watch boxing yeah, there you go huh i said you guys don't even watch boxing we got <laughs> what? I'm so confused. I didn't hear. You I said you guys don't even watch boxing. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like, you and your dad, you guys don't even. It, no, it's yeah, funny like, that Jerry says that because like I was thinking about how I was going to talk about it today, and I think this is the first time I've ever talked about professional boxing on the podcast. Yeah, honestly, that's despite kinda... the fact it's my favorite sport. Yeah, like, it's kind of funny. Yeah, where we talk way more about basketball. But I also think anything, that. Yeah. But I know I also think that goes to speak about like how. Like you know how far boxing has fallen down in the past. Oh, yeah. Especially with the rise of all these like exhibitional bouts and like, with, like UFC, celebrities and shit. Yeah. UFC too, yeah. So it's it is refreshing that tonight we're getting like what feels like those old Mayweather yeah. Pacquiao welterweight fights where people would like 60, 70 people would pack this house to watch those fucking fights. You know, yeah. like I remember you remember those those days. Oh yeah. Uh, but good Ryan time. Garcia is finally fighting Javante Davis. This is a fight that the both of them have been trying to get going for like two to three years maybe like pre pandemic oh shit and yeah, uh time. basically like to sum it up for you dill since i know you don't know too much about it the whole like like here here's the here's just like the general perspective of it ryan garcia is looked at as the social media fighter he's got the big tiktok yes. presence big youtube presence he makes the youtube videos he does Actually. a lot of like challenges with people mm-hmm. right gervonta davis is more of like the no nonsense uh you know rose from the bottom he's a dog right he's been fighting semi-professionally since he was seven years old he's uh he's in a he's been an apprentice to mayweather for his entire career mayweather coaches him from outside of the ring oh shit he's literally mayweather's fucking boy 
But. So on the, and then on the other side, uh, Ryan Garcia is more of a prospect of like uh, Garcia and De La Hoya, like some of the more Mexican right. promoters and fighters. I can but see the that. point is, uh, a lot of people would agree that this is the fight where Ryan Garcia proves himself. Oh, I mean, you're boxer. going up against Mayweather's boy. I exactly. Mean, it's literally, that's like the pinnacle. And I feel like the same. Well, it's not even a feel like. Like it, the same goes for Gervonta. Like regardless, this is a major fight. Who for whoever wins it, yeah. I just think more eyes are going to be on Ryan since he's talked all this shit for so long, and since he's kind of known for being the flashy. The fan guy, right the here. guy who does it on the camera but exactly. doesn't do it in the ring. Yeah, exactly. it's like a big like pride match because it's yeah. it's because I mean it's like. What they talked about most recently was that they just put their purse on the line, right? And mm-hmm. so it's like winner takes all. Yeah. And I heard about like uh, who was it that just like tweeted out about it? They were like, "Don't even do that, man! Like no one does that anymore." Yeah. Like just take your money and go exactly. home. Like it's not Every, that it's serious. It's the stupidest thing. It's just a pride thing. Yeah. But I think the other, uh, and also I was gonna mention, even though I'm saying the whole TikTok, you know, social media fighter thing, which is true to some degree, you can't sleep on Ryan. He's a fucking dedicated boxer. And and to swing into something we're going to get into in a bit, my dad and I sat down here last night and we watched two documentaries about both of them going through their careers and yeah. shit. And just like in watching it, we were both like, we have no fucking idea what's going to happen tonight. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like the speed and accuracy of Ryan and the raw power and tenacity of Gervonta. It's like I don't, I don't know what's. We gonna watched happen. one, and Gervonta Davis had just like cartoon punches. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. I just literally like, woo, and I didn't woo. even show you Ryan's. When I show you Ryan's, they're, they're like, like the I've same s- thing, but you don't even see them happen. They, they, right. he, the guy just falls over, and you're like, he threw a punch. Like yeah. he's that fast. And then the replays in normal speed as he's punching yeah. through the. To cabin. give you some perspective, you guys know how big a fan my dad is of boxing. Mm-hmm. My dad thinks, in his honest opinion, that Ryan Garcia is the fastest fighter he's ever seen in his life. So that's saying something. Mm. So that's fucking oof. Yeah, high know. stakes. I'm excited. I'm, Big I'm, words. I meet. And to you know to move on from that, who do you guys think is gonna take it? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen action. I haven't actually seen a lot of like Ryan Garcia. I've seen a lot more Davis. So I'm gonna say Davis. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you both a free one million dollars to bet on one of them. You have to bet it though. Who, who are you putting it on? I'm putting it on Davis. I'm putting it on Davis. Yeah. Put, if I if I had to put money on it, it's Davis. But if it's who I want to win, I want Garcia to win. Yeah. I think a betting man is gonna pick Davis. Cause Garcia is like the like. Cause it's like I think the whole like you know being like the non chauvinistic guy. You know being like the not to say he's not a show off, but like like you say. Yeah. He's like humble and shit like that. Yeah, like, he's I, more. oh, he's not. No, no. Jermonte Davis is not. No, humble? no, 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 oh, no, okay. no, no, no. He's just not a social media fighter. Oh, okay. yeah. He he gets in the ring and and shows off the work. That's that's awesome. That's great. Sorry about that. My dad's mm-hmm. cooking upstairs, or there's a fire. We, we won't we won't be able to tell <laughs> the podcast. I so I, uh, I hope it's a fire because we are in a closed basement <laughs> with only like one. I'm sure, or two if it windows. were a fire, we would hear yelling and you know. I heard ah. run, but. You heard of run? <laughs> I heard I heard a run. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's my dad going to open the front door yeah. and the back door and put and Hunter in the bathroom. The you know, open all the thing. doors. Man, this is annoying. <laughs> hmm. Uh anyway, I was gonna say that uh if I had to actually put my money on it, I think I'm going with Ryan. I think really? I'm going huh. with Ryan. The only reason I'm gonna go with Ryan is my dad had a good point where I, it's something that my dad and and I have always done where we just kind of give extra chips to the taller fighter yeah. and in this case it's a pretty big difference very big difference it's the difference of yeah. five five and five eleven and also uh there's been like uh interesting rumors that like gervonta davis has like hired people to spy on ryan's camps and trainings and stuff like that while ryan is like mm. i don't care like that just shows me that you're scared i just, I just imagine <laughs> right at the gym and there's a guy like i want to sign up <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like drinking a soda. Like it's just like watching the ring, like intently. Like, it's like when you're trying to film someone on the train. You're just like someone. Like, yeah. <laughs> so fucking uh, Ryan had a great response. He was like, "You can come watch me train tonight. Open fucking invite. It's not gonna change what happens tomorrow." So I think it's an interesting perspective that Ryan's in a mindset where he's just gonna go in and do his thing, and Gervonta, or at least his team, is more like worried per se. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. they're like, I mean, yeah. But of uh, I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen, and just to be different from you guys, I'm gonna go with Garcia. Nice. And we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see, see, what we'll see yeah. who's right. Yeah. Hmm. Let's move on from that real quick. I think it's funny that <laughs> we're like talking about this now, but like the the fight is gonna be happening like while we're recording this, basically. Yeah. Like, yeah the same yeah. day we're recording yeah. it. Yeah. 
So we yeah. don't we won't have the I opportunity mean, yeah, to be like, like, oh, this yeah. is who won. Let us know yeah, in the right. comments <laughs> if we're stupid or correct. Yeah, right. We should have recorded it tomorrow. It's and like then a we double knockout. Like, could have made our bets and been like, oh, I was right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, right. We could have sounded right. We could have just <laughs> acted and be like, there's this big fight tonight. It's, it's totally crazy. We don't know what's gonna happen. But you should watch the eleventh round. Uh, and I was going to swing it and say that, you know, earlier I said that my dad and I came to the basement yesterday and we watched documentaries about both Javante Davis's career and Ryan Garcia's mm-hmm. career. And we watched documentaries on a very interesting YouTube channel that I was curious to know if you knew about, because knowing you, you probably know about. Okay. It. Have you ever heard of Joe Vincent? Hmm. Sounds familiar. I think he's, he's, he has like something called like board films or something like that. So it's this guy who makes sports documentaries, but they're fucking incredible. Hmm. Like they're really well put together. And he also has like a very like, uh, like well versed in, in like all sports. And it's just like one guy too. It's not oh, like a nice. team or anything like that. The best way I could describe it is he kind of gives me, what's this guy's name that you really like? Uh, John Boyce. John Boyce, but just more like independent kind of. Oh, okay. And he uses like, he, he doesn't do like anything graphics. with like graphics or anything. He just uses like old footage and he kind of tells a narrative with it. Ah, I like that. But it's really, really cool. And he has like, a, the reason I bring it up is because he has a super diverse video palette where he does boxing, MMA. He even does like uh, the Muay Thai fighters that Jose loves, like Buakao and all of them. He does wrestling. He does football. He does basketball. Yeah, I probably, I probably know him from like a football. So like his fucking his YouTube resume is all like look at yeah, this. pull it up. Yeah, I want to show. Oh my god, that's annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> oh yeah, the fire alarm. Oh, Word. Joe Vincent. Yeah, this guy. But like, look at his like recent videos. Javante Davis, Patrick Mahomes, Allen Iverson, Sugar Ray Robinson. Fucking Steph Curry, Rod Tang, Shaquille O'Neal, Giannis. He does everything. This is dope. And they're all super good. So it was funny because we discovered him yesterday and then we were like, fuck, we want to watch like six in a row, but they're pretty long. (laughs) So we had to go to sleep. But my dad and I have like, no joke, like four lined up that we're going to go back and watch. Yeah, some of these are like half an hour. Some of these are an hour. Oh, I do. The basketball sports documentaries are literally all like two to three hours. Mm-hmm. Like I was telling Bobby's dad about a Ben Simmons one I was watching. It's Ooh. two hours and 40 minutes. Sheesh. And, it, you, and it's lit- it shows. You put two it. hours and 40 minutes of your life into watching a Ben Simmons. <laughs> it was like in the background, you know. It was like my. That, that doesn't excuse My you. study writing time. <laughs> I had I had to come up. I had to form an opinion. You could have watched anything else for two hours. <laughs> I would think I would have rather you watched Ben Simmons highlights for like what? Because well, I. I wasn't, two minutes and 40 seconds it's, it's, it's different when I, when I say i'm like watching it you know what i mean yeah it's just i'm like it's on yeah <laughs> that i'm watching it yeah but yeah i, I had to because i wanted to just like you know I, I was feeling you know i had to beat myself down so i just replaced ben simmons with my own name you know <laughs> and i was like all right beat me up a little bit you know <laughs> i need to get taken down a peg yeah so it was just like he is the worst and i'm like i am I am. I am. So sad, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm Love you, bro. Love you have too. friends, man. I do. You're no Ben Simmons. I'm You're... not. I'm, I'm better. I'm better than Ben Simmons. You're John Morant. John Morant. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so fucked up. There was like a commercial where, like, I forgot what it was for, but it was like one of those basketball commercials. And it, the whole point is like, there's like parking spaces in a parking lot, and they'll have days of the week. So on Monday, a car pulls up and it's John ja Morant and he pulls up into the gym and he starts showing free, shooting free throws or whatever. And then when it's Tuesday, the second car pulls up and it's John ja Morant again. And the whole gist is that like it's like four John ja Morants. But me and my dad are watching it and I'm like in the fifth one, he comes in with like two strippers and a gun. <laughs> no, that's Saturday. That's Saturday oh, that's night. Sa- that's, that's the Saturday, that's the Saturday ja. night parking <laughs> spot in the back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not visible on camera. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Interesting. Interesting. What a legend. Interesting. What a legend. Yeah. Man. Anybody got somewhere to spin it? Bro, I haven't had shit on YouTube. What happened to YouTube? Uh, my YouTube's been pretty good. I've been getting a lot of like 30 second and less clips on YouTube. I've been getting those too, actually. And I've been getting a lot of like AI generated stuff. Like people have been putting everything in the, the, the Balenciaga video. Yeah. <laughs> people have putting everything on the Balenciaga. Bro. I like some of them. They're good. Some of them are good. Yeah. It's got like a real uh, simple simplicity and beauty to it that I, I rock with. 
So nice. I feel like YouTube is like real like uh, Instagram you now, where it's like one person does it and it's like, yo, what if it was like this though? Maybe that's what we have to do. <laughs> Maybe we just have to find that one thing and then do it over again. Just keep repeating it. Yeah, we yeah. gotta do podcast Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking look into the camera. <laughs> Fuck, I get, get ready to see the thumbnail this week. Oh, nice. <laughs> fucking, I was gonna say, uh, just keep keeping on track with the with the YouTubish, the YouTubish manubish. Youtubish. <laughs> Youtubish. Youtubish. We uh, we were looking at our analytics, and I just want to shout out our Indian viewers at home <laughs> checking out the Joystick Show. Oh, you know, right. I don't know how to say hi in Indian, but Here what's up? Put it up. Hope we can put up. Uh, Yep, right there. There you go. <laughs> we should we should translate our clips, but only like the worst ones. <laughs> we're like we're defaming all of Southeast Asia of of Southern Asia, but they know. pop off for yeah, whatever weird South reason. Central, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. man, we gotta we gotta we gotta build up this YouTube shit, man. Yeah. The Joystick Empire. The Joystick. Uh, there's a there's a better name for it. The Joystick yeah. Conglomerate. Yeah. I like the that. joystick Kung armed Fu. forces. No, no. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I think there there should be a military division at some point. I, I, a federation, maybe headed by Jose. Yeah. Maybe that's what he does. <laughs> like we we handle the content. Jose handles, Jose handles the conquest. You know what I'm saying? The Peace Corps. The Peace Corps. That's what I relate. If I relate Jose to anything, and pieces in quotation marks. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Nah, the Piss Corps. The piss <laughs> there you go. Everybody's in bright yellow jumpsuits. <laughs> It's like, all right, we got, we got, we got a level three P emergency. Oh man, that's how you get Jose to join. Yeah, we got. <laughs> so Jose's heading. Jose's uh, secretary of defense, right? That's how. That's how that works. You would be secretary of. Uh, no, you're vi- you're VP, right? You're vice president. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. We got your. Uh, sec- this is the secretary of the treasury, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Tactical <laughs> investigations. And I'll be. Uh, who do I get to be? Can I be the speechwriter? Yeah, I was like, you're like the speaker of the whatever. Yeah, yeah I'll be the writer. speaker of my house. <laughs> speaker of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I get a podium. Yeah, literally. That's great. Hello. Yeah, we're starting the podcast in 15 uh, minutes. We, uh, that'd be fucking great, Bobby, if you made your <laughs> pre-podcast. Because like, we hang out like a tiny bit before the podcast yeah. every time. And Bobby just get up on podium. We will commence in 15 minutes. <laughs> I get that counting little, down to the podcast. I get that bendy mic and I bring it down a little yeah, bit. Like, it doesn't work. You're the, like, you know, that's the uh, that's the church reading mic. You know, <laughs> you got to do the like the like looking down on the fucking. Bro, I'm glasses. sorry. I would oh, I would yeah, yank yeah. that shit right off of her. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck, man. The way you manhandle everything. I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. That I would. That I would. My humble. Awesome. Bro, I'm just like fishing for shit to talk now. You know, just yeah. like, I told Dylan, I was like, I don't know. I just, I didn't have a very eventful week. I just kind of did shit. I fucking, I beat yeah. Hogwarts, but I talked about that last week. And yeah. I fucking, this, this is weird. Yeah. Is this it? Is this where we yeah. end the podcast? The we podcast. We had 138 <laughs> great episodes. Yeah, we we've had a good run, but I think, I think it may, this might be it. This might be it, guys. <laughs> Fuck, This man. might be it. I mean, Sorry. I could talk about how my mom went to the casino and won the second cruise that she won this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, so now my mom is going on a second cruise this year. <laughs> hey, did you have time for this? You have the hours? Wait, what was the first cruise they went on? They're going on it. Oh, Hasn't they're going on it. Yeah, they're going on a cruise in late July, and now nice. she won a second one, and I think she's scheduling it for Christmas. Lit. And I think I'm going on that one. So I'm for it. You know, Lit. Catch, me on, catch me on a cruise in Christmas. Christmas cruise. Christmas cruise. Crimber. Christmas. <laughs> that, that's the hashtag that week. Bobby's gonna have a whole side thing. He's oh, like filming yeah. on the fucking Christmas. He's cruise. like he's doing the podcast by himself <laughs> with his, like, a chair. in the kiddie pool. Yeah. Just, <laughs> at like fucking uh, gonna one have, in the morning by myself with Chad GPT. Yeah, <laughs> Chad GPT, Dylan, Joey, and Jerry. What a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Oh God! Fucking AI! Uh, I do not need an AI, Joey, for the love of what? A, what? A, what a useful AI! But oh God, no! I don't. I don't need it. It's so funny because I was gonna make a joke too, but I was like, he's not here. Don't fuck it. Don't bash the guy. Yeah, it's not a bash. Or it's gonna be bad. fucked up and be like, I think I'd prefer AI. Joey. No, 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 no. 
AI Joey's far away. What is fall. AI Joey like, though? AI. Oh, because it's. Oh, I'd be. <laughs> what is this? Yo, I've got a video to show you. Oh, I have a video. Check it, this. No, out. but he's. he's it's Joey, but he's completely upfront about what's exactly going to happen. He's like, I'm going to show you a video, and you're either going to really like it or not, not vibe with it at all. And I'm not going to be able to tell until too late. <laughs> <laughs> and Jose's oh, not man. watching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What? I hit the mic. Oh. We, should, we should have, like, a punishment for, like, if someone causes a technical difficulty mm-hmm. or they fuck up the show in some way, if I'm late... There should be a punishment, mm-hmm. you know. Russian roulette, a, pe- a penalty, <laughs> <laughs> torture. We have the torture chamber in the back. So. Yeah. yeah, totally. Not my dad's walk-in closet no. or anything. <laughs> we haven't talked about anything for the past four minutes. <laughs> yeah, we talked about right. Joey being an yeah. AI robot. <laughs> Jerry's a robot. Talked about torture. This is hard. (laughs) Podcasting is not easy, guys. Bobby, come on. You talking about torture? Oh, man. There you go. That's your topic right there. Give me torture. things to do. You know what what the problem is? I didn't smoke before this. That's what the problem is. We Mm. did. I didn't. What do you mean? Because yeah. like, there's like an interval thing. Like I do it right before, and then I'm oh. like, yeah, blah, 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 you know what I mean? That oh, was a while. Need you need I did it, and show. then I came down here, and I set up lights, and I did an audio you test, and I put it to camera. I need it. I need it. Okay. Spunk I, Bob? Yeah, because I was going to talk about a thing that I watched t- today that wasn't a... Fucking Dylan and I hung out for 420. We didn't even talk about that. This is- we <laughs> did! That, that goes to show you how our 420 went, that we forgot that we hung out for 4 fucking 20. I mean, it wasn't We're like- literally all angry. <laughs> Like we watched the net. We're like, what should we talk about? <laughs> you know, honestly, no, because this is the thing. I, I, I thought that we weren't going to talk about it because, you know, we were going to turn a new leaf. Look at these little tufts in the corner. Oh, yeah, I see what you did there. Yeah, but we did turn a leaf. We turned a lot of leaves. We turned a lot we of We turned leaves. the bot leaf thing that was here yeah. last week. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, fucking. What did we do? We watched the Nets lose. Well, that was kind of fun because we hung out with my dad. Yeah. You know, it was like a, it was like a me, Dylan, and dad hang out, you know? <laughs> yeah. He brought us rib tips out of nowhere. Hey. He's like, yo, you like barbecue? But that's the funny thing about smoking with my dad, though, is because munchies with my dad, that's a different experience. <laughs> that's he, not like, here's he, chips He gets, it. like, mad and then makes something and brings it down. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the... In, in like, a five-minute span. Bro. Like, is it, like, you don't even have time to process because you're... It's like, and you're like... Oh, this. yeah. I remember one time my dad came upstairs to watch something in my room with me. It was like a documentary or something. It was a basketball thing. And like we, we smoked J in like five minutes and he's like, oh, no, nah, man, I got to get something to eat. Give me a second. <laughs> and he, he went downstairs. He went into the pantry and brought every single snack that we had in the pantry into my room. I'm talking like a <laughs> box of cookies, two giant bags of chips, the soda cracker barrel, like everything. He's like, yes, yeah, so anything you want. You know, if you want some of that, if you want some of that. I'm like, I'm good. Like, I didn't, Lit. I wanted one thing. Yeah, but my, you know, down. that guy is like, all you can eat buffet when the munchies <laughs> hit. So we got rib tips with barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's uh, a People at home are probably thinking your dad is like, you know, butlering it, you know, <laughs> coming out with like a little tray. But he is. <laughs> he is. Like you he's know who, wearing the white hat. You know who, da- who my dad butlers for? Jessica. Whenever Jessica's here, that's when my dad decides to be like, yo, I made some like creme brulee. Like, I, I brought yeah. one spoon, but it's for Jessica, but you can share he's it. He's actually it. serving the fucking show on MasterChef. He gets really coy. He's, yeah. like, he's like, I hope you like it. <laughs> it's like a respectful thing with my dad. Like he does it with Marianti yeah, too, yeah, yeah, like, especially because yeah. she likes to yeah, bake. She or, likes like, to bake my dad is like low-key waiting for her to come over next time so he could just like show off and be like, yeah, I made a yeah, little. Made, yeah, look at this photo. Uh, yeah, they just honestly, they would... They would be talking for hours. Oh, yeah. yeah we're it's like I have to remind him now. I'm like, okay, so Will's coming. Will likes to cook. Got he something to talk like about to right there. He'd be cooking some crazy shit, and man. He's a very good cook, actually. So, I, I see, that, honestly, though, like, you can fucking... Yo, that's why I'd be cook, watching the I most. I cook more. Cooking is yeah, fun. Word. I'm always like, I want to. It's a lot of work. And then I'm immediately like... All the, cause I, I don't know. I think it was just that I got benefited in that, like my mom, like that shit. My mom handled. Yeah. Like I right. did my stuff in my room, and I know other people had other like errands and you know uh, what's the word I'm thinking of chores. Yeah, the do. But my mom had did all the kitchen shit. So like in terms of like cooking the thing and then cleaning out a pan, yeah. people are like, oh, I hate cleaning pans out or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> what was like your best childhood home cooked meal? That's a good question. 
And what Ronfies is. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about this. I don't know. That's tough. Yeah. I like Sancocho, man. Sancocho is undefeatable. Sancocho is good, but that classic. was a really like, like holiday a cold thing day for us. Yeah. We I'm trying to think. We didn't like get a... that like every week. My we mom made like, Eastern Christmas. Yeah. My mom. my mom makes a really good like chicken cordon bleu. Oh, that, I would I would want to try that. Yeah. Holy shit. He makes a really good mm-hmm. chicken cordon bleu. She actually makes a two way. She makes like the regular one, mm-hmm. and then she makes another one where the sauce is like a soup broth kind of, and then it like solidifies gotcha. a bit. Man, I think I'm gonna go with. Hmm, this My is mom's difficult. also good at Italian. My mom makes a good lasagna. A my good parents big ziti. are both very good at Italian. My my mom's very good at Italian. But despite my mom not being Italian, she pops off. I'm gonna go Italian with. Uh, I'm gonna go with my grandma's yellow rice with pollo guisado. That's where. Pollo it's guisado at. is bro, bro, undefeatable. That's cr- bro. That's a classic. It's just if this I get it. I'm gonna eat it. If, if you do a chef's son for that, <laughs> I will. I will. Boyo Gisalo is like, bro, you eat it and up. you fall asleep. There's like, you, you <laughs> fight it so hard, bro. You just eat it and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you knock out. It's like, it's that comfortable of food. It's crazy. But I think that's it for me. It's yeah. just classic. You're like, this is this is it. And I eat. That's it. Food is food, man. I've run food out of food. things to talk about. I mean, we're talking about food <laughs> for like three minutes. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're going to talk about this, obviously, after the fact when you guys experience it. But, like, fucking baseball. I mean, yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah. That's we're going great. to do that. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 like, baseball games are fun. But it's not like we have 15 minutes to talk about after the baseball game, you know. Sure. We're just going to be like, yeah, we Bowling. ate shit. It was good. Hey, I meant to ask you, what's the security like at City Field these days? Uh, it's pretty... <sighs> What do you mean? Why? What are you asking? Like, if I want to bring in a pen. Oh. Uh, what's it like, you know? What's the strat? What's the protocol? I don't know. I don't know. Barclays is like, you're going on a fucking plane. That shit is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably similar. I would yeah, say the would best say thing similar. to do is, like, put it in, like, a bag, and then, like, they won't find it in the bag. But if it's, like, a pretty big pen, they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll get caught. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now we just come in boofed up. I usually just pre like in in like the car or like it's not good enough. For yeah, me. It's nine innings, Dylan. This isn't yeah, fucking... but there's a pitch clock now. The games are twenty five minutes faster. Ugh, it's not even that, man. It's also just being in the open mm. air. You're so free. You could just you know. Like, oh that's... yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the American dream. I dude. remember I had I I mean if you had like one of like the smaller ones, I'm sure you could like, get a disposable. Get a disposable. Put it in your shoe or some shit. <laughs> yeah, or... or like in your crotch. That's the strat. There's beeping on your crotch. No, there's not. Beep. Anyway, you guys ready for jam and yam of the week? I am. Jam and yam of this eventful <laughs> episode. I, interestingly oh, enough, bam, I have a boy. lot I can talk about my fucking yeah. jam. If it me is the too. jam that I'm picking. Can I, can I go first? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so you guys have to make me a promise that you guys can't listen to this song. So wait, this is the shit I that you... I want to show you this, guys, the song. But I want to show it to you on Tuesday because it's really funny. <laughs> Can I, you just show it to us? I, c- I could. I could. Okay. But it is called uh, Slut Me Out <laughs> by, uh, what's his name? Fucking, what do you mean? Corday? Corday? Yeah. <laughs> Corday has a new album uh-huh. out and he has a song called Slut Me Out. Yeah. I'm not even going to explain what the premise is, but yeah, he he's the one Got it. getting slutted, slutted out. out. Uh, it, it is a bar about like being like a freak. Uh huh. Like the, every every like which I didn't know like that was cool, but like it's so dirty that it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like you hear it and you're like, that's not how the human body. Can works. I look up the lyrics to it? <laughs> <laughs> not real. I feel like you shouldn't. Don't do it. I want to. Can no, I? I, I, I no, want to read one line. The, the, it's pretty bad. Just one line. It's pretty bro. bad. I, just one. Just one. Is... Uh, you know, here we go. Um, a rip off my shirt if you love me. Spit in my face when you fuck me. Play with my gooch while you suck me. Yeah, 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 come, come Eat the dick like you was ugly. Why does if you're ugly eat the dick? Yeah, because it's like if you if you're ugly you have to like suck dick better, you know. Uh, <laughs> That's like the implication. Eat the dick. Yeah, it's like yeah you really you know if you so were, is eat like the pinnacle. Yeah, of yeah. Head, if you were like if you're attractive, your blowjob can be like mm, you know. Like. <laughs> 
I have, I have an explanation. You can 40 keep 40 minutes of shit <laughs> podcast to get that highlight. Holy hell. You can keep going. We have more highlights. Oh, you have a whole album. Fuck, Honestly, dude. I feel like we should just listen to this. Oh, I know my God. we get like, taken down, right? If we listen to the song. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. yeah but we can't actually anyway. listen to it. But oh, you, oh, shit, man. There's one, there's one bar, which is my favorite, which is like, which he's like, I won't come, I, I control my bladder. And I'm like, that's not how that works. That's, I won't come, I'll control yeah. my bladder. It's two separate fucking exactly. things. Exactly. That's what I was saying. He doesn't know how the human Bruh. body works, but he wants to get fucked. He's the rhyme. Good for him. Yeah, I've him stayed out, way too long on this. Oh, it's important fuck. for it to sound good. Thank you good. for sharing that. I can't You're wait welcome. to listen to this song now. Wow. Um, By the way, absolute bop, too. Is that your yam, yeah, actually? That okay. is my yam. I don't have as fun of a story as that yeah. for my song. The week. No, I was song of the week is uh, it's from Twerp, that that group that makes that other one T-W-R-P. song. TWRP. Yeah, and uh, it was from a fucking uh, retro wave playlist that I was listening to. It was called Terraform. Bro, you know what cool. Twerp stands for? No, I don't. Tupperware actually. Remix Party. Tupperware. Yeah, Remix Party. Tupperware. Remix Party. No. Remix party. Uh, my jam of the week is gonna go to a song that I spent an entire train ride trying to find. Uh, I was driving Eight home those. like three days ago, and I was on the Sirius XM satellite radio. It was one of those rare occasions where I was like, I'm not going to put my phone on. I'll just listen to whatever's jamming on. I was going through the categories, and they had like a rock sing-along station thing. And they just play like, you know, famous old school rock songs that everybody knows, right? Mm-hmm. And an Ozzy Osbourne song played that I hadn't heard since I was like three. Mm-hmm. That was fucking, you know, now as an adult, I was like, this is a great fucking song. <laughs> it was like Ozzy fucking Osbourne uh, Jammed on it the whole way home Forgot about it Wasn't until I was on the train two days ago That I remembered that I had this song in the back of my subconscious And then I didn't know where to start So uh, thankfully Ozzy Osbourne's website Has a complete song list Of every song oh, that Ozzy Osbourne, Osbourne has ever, ever made known. And uh, if you think it's long It's longer Yeah of it's, course It's that long and uh, sure enough, fucking, you know, my song has to start with uh, an S, so it's all the way at the bottom, but I scrolled all the way down and I found it, so this week's jam is going to go Shot in the Dark by uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Very wow, I was close. I said shot through the art when you said, yeah. oh, random, random, random. So random. Shot in the Dark, and shout outs to Dill's dad. <laughs> Who loves Ozzy. Yep. And uh, he played many of those type songs in the car. Mm. Shout outs to... ACDC. I just did that and licked so much beard. It was crazy. I saw you lick your beard. It looked pretty cool. I'll do that again. Do it. (laughs) So weird. God. You know what Bobby's first cringe talk will be? (laughs) Baby's first cringe talk. When I I I blur my my face when I do that. Thanks for watching this odd episode of The Joystick. You know what I just came to realize? Joey holds the show together. That's what I came to realize. (laughs) Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He fills the gaps. Joey's like, I went to a concert. Right? It's weird we not can't. having we, Joey. Yeah, we can't use an AI Joey. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you like this episode of The Joystick Show, make sure to go heb. heb. <laughs> go heb. Make sure to go ahead and like this episode. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to your boys here at Team Joystick where we cook up all the cookings. And uh, does anybody have like anything else to say at all like ever like you know because if you don't say anything now you'll never get an opportunity to say anything again never again never again fuck i'm calling joey i was hoping that he would this guy's not really reliable i think it's time to fire him for the third time (laughs) i think we have him arrested he framed Joey. Frame Joey yeah. for my murder. Oh, shit. Joey would never do murder. We gotta frame him for something white. <laughs> <laughs> Some civil crime. <laughs>